is very dear to me, and I am so glad of what you're doing today to bring him up to speed and to be a peer of our realm. I love him greatly, and you do wonderful things this day. Thank you. Is there a member of the chivalry to speak for him? Your Majesties, though there's no shortage of those that wish to speak, I, Darius called Omega the Impact, was his choice. Greetings, Your Majesties, Your Highnesses, Baron and Baroness Setmore, Majesties Akka, and the assembled populace. When I thought about the, the, all the, the uh, ingredients in the code of chivalry, many applied to this man. Honor, courage, bravery. The one that's often ignored that I think most applies to this gentle is that of enterprise. The enterprise of seeing through a task once started. Showing enterprise in the service of your Lord, of your King. I've watched this man work tirelessly, finishing each task and rushing off to the next. I'm proud of him. I'm grateful that this man gives up his free time and his vacation to work whether it be security, the royals, or just helping somebody who's under a heavy burden so the rest of us can enjoy this game and play. Before I thank you on behalf of myself, your majesties, thank you for recognizing this gentleman. Is there a lady of the rose that will speak for this gentleman? Your Majesties, that is my duty. You ask us to be brief, so I shall. If you need something, Oscar has it, he'll lend it to you. If he doesn't already own it, he will buy it and then lend it to you. <laughs> if you need something done, he will do it. And if you would like to learn how to do it yourself, he will teach you to do it. That is a peer, and I commend him most highly to you. Is there a member of the Order of Defense to speak for him? Your Majesties, by your will, I, Master Orlando, bring the words of Master Jean-Paul Cotton. Majesties, Highnesses, all others assembled. I am Jean Paul Ducat, <laughs> Master of Defense, and I would claim the right to speak for Horace. I could speak to Horace's massive list of duties that he has done over the years. The vast amount of lifting and hauling of gear to ensure that the royals have everything they need to be able to hold court. But I find it's often the less visible service that I find that most impresses me. You see, in fencing, there's a very common expression to fight the fighter in front of you. Don't fight their title. I tell you this to speak to what I consider Horace's most impressive service. For those who may not know, he has undertaken for the past couple of years, the role of parking patrol for the north end of Penzance. While most are okay when asked to move their cars, as I'm sure you can imagine, others can be quite combative. Never losing his cool, he has handled many of these instances despite sometimes having to deal with titles being thrown around. It is this cool and collected service that often is so overlooked in the SCA. So I would ask if you've walked the northern end of Penzig and have not encountered cars blocking your way, give this man your thanks, not the clear path, for it was his work. In closing, please allow me to say, you do the kingdom credit. This man is a pelican, he is my friend, and he is a peer. John Paul. Is there a member of the Order of the Pelican that would speak for him? Your Majesties, <laughs> Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, 
I make it a rule, by the way, to not try to speak for my dependents and let other voices speak. So I chose another pelican to do it for me. And they're not here. <laughs> so they asked me to read it anyway. Oh, my apologies to my back to see you. On to their most radiant royal majesties and their beloved shining heirs. I, Mistress Kiss Maria, that's not me, <laughs> the Order of the Laurel, Order of the Pelican, speak my words of the man now before you. There are many who serve, taking responsibility to see a need and filling it time and again, using the resources, tools, and skills attained upon this journey in service. This allows Korash Horsum to stand out. There are none who can truthfully say that all he does is not to the continued success of this great kingdom. Horash has built floors that dancers perform upon until they are breathless and helped create an onion-domed city that took away the breath of those who gazed upon it. He has brought forth and gifted us with a menagerie of creatures from an exotic giraffe to an ornery duck. All of our pleasure, all for our pleasure and mirth. Quraysh works so that others can enjoy. In the making of a peer, each of us has taken responsibility to support the kingdom. These are time-consuming, energy-taxing, and often humbling experiences, especially when things crash. Asking, what can I do differently in the future should this situation again arise? In order to find success for all involved, that is a peer-like quality that is rare indeed, but possessed by Horesh. Having the heart to do better in the future has helped Horesh be the person presented before you today. And all that I know to be true, Horesh is the epitome of a peer. Seeing a need and acting, bringing together people in task and in laughter, and when the tables are turned, laughing harder at themselves, this is Horesh. A peer becomes stronger, wiser, and more determined with each experience. A peer makes this game worth playing. Horash has demonstrated all of this and more. Your Majesties, this game we play has been made better, for it is Horash, his gift of heart, talent, and friendship. I recommend Horash Horatsun to you as a member of the Order of the Pelican with all that I am, for I know all that he is. He is my peer. I know that we're looking at time for court, and I apologize. Okay. Sure okay. I tried to get through that paper without breaking down. Every time I read it to practice it, which, by the way, the original was five and a half minutes long. It is edited. Okay? <laughs> that being said, I am so proud of you. You've come such a long way. And you are my peer, and you are my friend. But officially, we have to part. I need that belt back. Now, Kay, I want your help with this. I'm not putting my arms around his waist. <laughs> exactly. Or at least a waiver. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm the facetious one. So 